Hello everyone, <clears throat> my name is Isaac Segundo and welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an autocomplete using view, but I'm going to be using the HTML5 data list tag. And what this tag does is it gives you a predefined option for an input element. So let me actually show you what I mean by that. I'm going to bring over my code pen over here. Let me bring over code pen. Let me move this to the side. So here is here is a data list tag, and what you do is you define what you would like it, what the predefined option options are for your input. And if you notice, I have this list attribute, and this list attribute is pointing to this ID of the data list. So names, names. So that's what connects it. So if I come down here, you don't see my um, input box. But if I come down here, let me take that out. If I come down here and I click in a box, as you can see, I have the predefined names. So if I come here, let's say I add, let me do copy, paste, and let's say I add Isaac. So if I come down here, Isaac, if I start to type, you see it's autocomplete, John or Lisa so you get the idea so I'm going to show you how to do this in SharePoint using view but our predefined options will be coming from a list so let's go to SharePoint and see how that how that gets it done so let me go to my site pages so I can show you what it looks like and I'm just gonna walk you through how I did this so let me scroll down, autocomplete. So I have this field here, but ignore that is this vendors field. So if you click that, see, and this is coming from a list. So if I start to type Lisa or you know, let's say John, oops, hit enter. I just I have that alert going um, and I'm gonna remove that. So if I did Sam, you know, Susan, as you can see, it just kind of filters. So does it autocomplete. So let's go to the code so you can see. So in my code, I have this HTML and I always create my forms from a site called Formden. It's, it's free. I mean, if you want to save your data, then you start to pay uh, up to I think it's like nine bucks a month for like a hundred forms a month. But I always come here, create my form, and I copy this here and move it over to my SharePoint and I paste it in here. So here's my form. And if I scroll down, here is my vendor. So this is my input field here. List equal to vendors. That's my attribute. And then I'm pointing to this data list, vendors. And then within this data list, I have this option. And then if you learn, as you learn from my, one of my previous videos, I have this V4 directives. I'm basically looping through an array. And in this, this names is coming from a list that I have. So let me show you the list really quick. So here's my list called autocomplete John tray list. So so that's my list and here's my code. So this is my instance I, I set up. This is pointing to my div in the HTML. In my data, I my data object, I, I um, define this names array property. And then this created, this is sort of like a, a jQuery, um, I think what they call it, when, when, when when the form is initially comes up, it, it waits for this creator waits for my instance to get done first. And then once it's done and everything's ready to go, it then calls this method. So this dot methods, and then it calls this method here. And here I have my endpoint URL. This is my autocomplete it brings back all the items. I could have just did a select and just set select the title. Um, <clears throat> It brings that back. I'm using Axios, gets the URL. Then once 
once some data comes back I get this response and then I just dump all the responses into my array that I've defined up here now notice that I did this var vm equal to this so I'm basically kind of inheriting I guess the scope of the instance because once you go into my, the axios if you try to use this it's not going to work so you have to this is I guess this is how you bring the scope into this into this the, the VM this into this scope and if there's an error this catches it now let's go back to my HTML and as you can see v4 name in names which is this array here so I'm looping through that names that now has all the names from my list and then I'm binding the the name that title and the title is the list item in my list so basically this title so I'm binding it to this option and then it loops through and that's how I'm able to get the functionality so if I go back to my form you start typing and as you notice if it's a big huge format you have this scrolling bar for all the names so it's kind of scroll it allows you to scroll up and down if you have several um, so I hope that makes hope that makes sense um, thanks for watching my video in my next video though I'm going to show you how to same concept but let's say you want to grab emails from everybody that has access to SharePoint so we have to point to the correct rest endpoint in SharePoint to get to get all the names, email addresses in um, in SharePoint. So I'm going to show you how to do that, do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.